Don't you just love Champions League football, man? Moments like this, exciting nights, getting the winner, qualifying for the next round. I know it's just group stage, but this is massive. We played really average today. We nearly bottled it, 1-1 of course, and then Giroud, the GOAT, the one that everyone's saying that he's going to be leaving. For me, he has to stay. Super sub. Players like that can turn up when needed. Big game player, Livy Giroud, you are a GOAT, bro. You're a GOAT, honestly. Fantastic, man, fantastic. Unfortunately, Seville did score 95th minute. Very, very annoying, otherwise it would have been an advantage to Chelsea going into the last couple games. Both clubs, I believe, have qualified now. I don't think Ren or Krasnodar can catch up. So good luck to them, whoever gets third place. But yeah, what's going on, guys? We'll watch us back again with another few guys now. I hope you all having a lovely day slash Eden. Nearly a perfect night getting that lucky winner. Not in terms of the goal, but in terms of winning the game. A bit lucky in terms of, you know, we didn't really play that well, if I'm being honest. Okay, I was a bit annoyed with some of the subs, some of the lineup. Um, but at the end of the day, we got the win and we can't be too, too hard. So guys, if you enjoy my content, we're going to get straight into the video. Smash that like button, let's get at least 300 likes. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily. And make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak on. Now, Giroud got the winner, of course. Timo Werner, unfortunately missing chance after chance after chance. Now, I, I have to say this. He's very tired. He looks fatigued. He needs to rest. I know he's going to start against Tottenham because it's a massive, massive game. But he should have come off a lot earlier. In fact, he shouldn't even have started the game. Him, Ben Chilwell, they all look tired. They've been playing every single game. They cannot be perfect every single moment, every single minute. Chilwell's making mistakes. Tim Arena's making mistakes. He was missing sitters. And, of course, like I have no bad things to say about Tim Arena. Because he's done really, really well in his Chelsea career so far. And he will improve and get better and score a lot of goals for Chelsea. But sometimes he has to be rested, man. He's human. You know what I mean? So, for me, Tottenham, he has to start. He, he definitely has to start. He's a big game player. We need him in this team. He has to start. But after that, we need to consider controlling how we're going to, you know, play these players because we've got games coming thick and fast. Every few days, every two or three days, we've got a game. So, we have to be very, very careful. I thought Emerson should have started today, left back. But Ben Chilwell started. He was making mistakes. And it was his first game where I felt... A bit uncomfortable. Now, Mendy made fantastic saves. And he couldn't do about the goal that Ren scored, of course. Like, he was making some vital saves. I tweeted earlier saying, for me, on form, best goalkeeper in the world right now. On form. I'm not saying overall or anything like that. I'm saying, from the goalkeepers that I've watched this season, I feel like Mendy has come in and shown what he's capable. What do you guys think? Don't be biased. Maybe I'm sounding a bit biased, but let me know your thoughts on that, okay? You guys might think Oblak or whoever you guys think. I just feel like Mendy coming in and fixing these Chelsea problems that we've had over the years is a massive influence, if you know what I mean. So that's why I said Mendy, for me, on form, best uh, goalkeeper in the world. But yeah, look, Giroud, man, I can't believe you scored that header. I'm still trying to take it in. How did that header go in? That team ever missed that chance. I thought that's it. We mi that this chance gone now. It's 1 1. So if we would have scored 95th minute, and then we would have been very, very annoyed, frustrated. But Giroud, the way he headed that, I'm speechless. You know what I mean? Like I see two men on the line, they didn't even clear it. They couldn't even clear it. It was that powerful. It was that like Drogba's header against Bayern Munich in the final. Like that powerful, if you know what I mean? So I think Frank Lambert couldn't believe it. Jordan Morris couldn't believe it. Timo Werner came off. Uh, everyone was shaking hands. Everyone was happy. I don't think we believed that we actually should have won that game because it was that good. But sometimes you need that. You need that luck and you need to show resilience in this team. That you can win games even when you play average. That's something that we did not have last season or the season before, and now we've got it. And now we've got Tammy, we've got Giroud, we've got Timo Werner scoring goals left, right, centre. We've got Mason Mount setting up. Can Alton Doy, the star boy? Come on, man. I'm very excited about this, man. Can Alton Doy deserved a start today, and he showed Frank Lampard what he can do, you know, tracking back off the ball. Everything was there from Can Alton Doy for me tonight. That's what I need to see every single game, bro. You are young, you're strong, I'm sure you can push on every single game and show in training what you're capable of. And Frank Lampard will pick you, bro. He will pick you. Just a bit more patience. Of course, Hakim Ziyech is a starter, without a doubt. Pulisic for me, if he comes back fit as well, for me, he starts as well. Kyivers could have started today as well. But look, I just feel like we've got a very, very healthy squad. We've got fantastic subs and we can make five subs in the Champions League. So it's very, very vital that Frank Lampard uses them every single time, especially with the games coming up. We don't need to risk. Of course, we want first place. But, you know, if we get a scoreline draw against Seville, 
and winning against Krasnodar. Then we go we go first place, even if Seville get the same results as us. So um, because they drew nil nil against Chelsea in our stadium, and if we get one goal and we draw, then we go ahead of them because we you know we go ahead. Um, so it looks all good overall for Chelsea. Still positive, still anything can happen, but we need that first place in this group stage. Man, Krasnodar can't believe he let us down again, again. You guys had two 0 lead last time, two three weeks ago, and now you've bottled a ninety five minute. <sighs> you know what I mean? Very very frustrating. But look, overall. I can't say too much negativity because Kante didn't play in the midfield and we looked lost in midfield. They were walking all over us. They were just going through us and Tebo Silva came in, looked very good in my opinion. Um, we've got Reese James, Aspi. Reese James came on towards the end of course. Aspi for me didn't make no mistakes. He looked very, very comfortable. He's that guy that can come in and give us 100% every single game. Okay. There were times last season, the year before, where he looked a bit lost at the start. Lost a bit of yard in, in, in pace and stuff. But for me, he's back at his best, okay? And he knows from he can't play every single game, but he's that influential captain that can help Reece James become the player that he should be at Chelsea for the coming years ahead. And that's why I love Azpi at this club. And we shouldn't sell this player. These two can play every single game, but Reece James is someone for the future, of course, and we need to look after these players together. So, you know, well done to Azpi. For me, very, very special player. Jorginho had at times played very very well i felt like it was too open a bit and it was getting owned a few times but other than that no one really played badly i i felt i felt look you know team of Werner missing chances it happens in football okay we have to support a man and uh, he'll come a lot stronger definitely for sure so trust me tim Werner also against tottenham just like he did against Carabao cup he was going against tottenham as well i got my brother you know um as i say united fan Tottenham fan, of course, giving it all talk, they're top of the league and all this stuff. You know how it is. He's not, he's not had experience of seeing Tottenham at the top or winning trophies or anything like that. So he always talks about Roman, like what were you before Roman? We actually won some European trophies before you Roman. But, you know, these guys don't understand that. And I don't understand why they celebrate so quickly. So I need Chelsea to deliver against Tottenham on the weekend. Otherwise, I'm not going to hear it. End of it, if you know what I mean. So trust me, Chelsea... We've got the win in now, we've got two days rest, we need to come back stronger, prepare for Tottenham of course and hopefully we get that win man, as soon as possible against Jose Mourinho, hopefully we can do a double against him again, Frank Lampard the only manager to do that last season as, as well, so confidence should be high man, when we started the Premier League on Monday, we won the league, we stopped Tottenham from winning the league I think one or, once or twice, so you know everything hangs towards Chelsea, the confidence looks really good. Obviously today is just a one-off and hopefully we come back stronger man. But guys, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button. Let's get at least for a that. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. Man. Well, watch us guys. I'm out. Peace. See you guys soon.